ruled by the hammer of Thor. What's up guys, it's the Bowtie Man here, and today we're reviewing Osmo. Here's the product hype video. What's that? It's a puzzle. Cool. Would you like to play? Yeah. This should be Yes. Okay. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing a puzzle. Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. Let's play this, guys. Okay. So what Osmo does, it's a learning game system that uses the power of the iPad to give feedback while students play with real options, or real objects, excuse me. My take is Osmo is learning as a priority with Osmo. I think their apps are very focused around what kids can learn, and I like that quite a bit. And it really takes kids off the screen. Kids are not really looking at the screen to really play with Osmo. They're playing with the objects in front and just using the screen as a feedback, the things they can actually put their hands on, and I think that's really great. I think Osmo is a great thing for stations in the elementary school because you can put, kids are not, kids are handling real objects but while they're getting feedback so the teacher can focus on other um, folks. I think another thing about Osmo is that you can play this with a friend. Most of these games have a friend component built in which I think is really really good. And so let's talk about the, the apps for a minute. Right now they have four apps. In, in some ways that's a limitation but the four that they got are really really good and I think they're going to add some more soon. So the four apps are, they have Actually, they have five apps. Excuse me, they have five apps. I was saying four, they have five. Uh, the first app is Words, and Words is one I really like for elementary school students because the way Words works is they'll pop a picture up, and then it'll have little bubbles that come up with the letters that go in the word. And then the kids use the little uh, the, the letters from the Osmo pack to spell out that word. And they can actually play against a friend in that because there's blue and red letters. What's really great about it is that elementary school teachers can go online and they can actually build their own. So this is great for things like sight words. I also like their numbers kit quite a bit. Their numbers kit is, the idea of numbers is that kids go and they learn math through um, basically having a number and then having a way to get to that number. So if it be addition or subtraction or multiplication, and they can they have to get to that number. But they can get to that number multiple ways. So like if it's the number's eight, you can put two fours up there, you can put a two and a six, you can put all kinds of different combinations. And I like that it's letting kids kind of think um, originally instead of saying, this is the way you must add up to eight. Their third app is Tanagram. Tanagram, you can actually see the one playing it right here. 
Tanagram is what it is. It, what it says. It's a great way to learn shapes. Um, the idea is that they have Tanagram pieces and they put together kind of a picture and there's all kinds of different pictures in the app that they can put together. Um, the next one is number or masterpiece, excuse me. And masterpiece is a really cool one. And masterpiece is the one where I see some older um, people using masterpiece because the idea is that you take a picture with the iPad and then that picture translates into lines that you can trace. And then you put your, your paper in front of um, your device and on your screen you can kind of see those lines on paper and you follow along that way. Kids can really create some great pictures with it. And then the last one is a game called Newton and Newton teaches kind of physics, it's problem solving. The idea is that there's a little ball at the top of the screen and you have to get it into a little basket but you can put anything in front of the iPad um, to do that. So lots of great learning opportunities and I think the thing about Osmo is Osmo has really only come on the scene for I want to say a year and a half and so you're going to see lots more really good stuff out of them and I think that it's going to be a really great learning tool and a really great learning tool for our elementary schools. One of my favorite things about it though is the cost. The cost right now there's actually two kits. There's what they call and I don't know the actual terms of it. They call them like masterpiece and I think one of them is masterpiece and one of them is genius but there's the original kit which was the base, you get the base to put the iPad in, the little red thing to go over the camera, and then you also get um, words and you also get the Tanagram. And then there's another kit that you get all that for $80. There's another kit that's $100 that also includes the number set. So you get all of it for a really, really great price. Now as far as iPads that work in the Osmo, all iPads work except for iPad numero uno. And the reason iPad numero uno doesn't work is numero uno is, doesn't have a camera, so it can't work in there. Um, I think them going into Android, I mean, obviously some people ask, are they going to go into Android? But Android, Android, I'm assuming they'll have some solution for Android eventually. But the thing about Android is Android provides a whole different set of challenges because Android tablets, there's so many of them, and there's so many different form factors and different orientations for an Android tablet. And so really going and putting together an Osmo in that format would be really hard. Um, my overall take here in the education sphere, I think, honestly, I think this is something that should be in ele every elementary school. It's, uh, it teaches a lot of really great things, um, and their games are very well constructed, um, and they teach um, spelling very well. They teach how to add and subtract very well. Is it something that I would suggest going for older kids? Maybe not, but I think that the one app that could really go for older kids is the Masterpiece where the kids can actually draw. I've seen it used as high as middle school. I think Osmo's really sweet spot is kind of that elementary school range, but I think what you'll see is you'll see them kind of move, um, you'll move them to some directions into preschool, and then I'll be really interested to see if they can take that technology and they can really move it into um, the older grades, but I don't know that that's a priority for them. But I think everything that they do is great. This is one of my favorite companies out there it's one of my favorite gadgets out there. I think they, it's a really well constructed, really well put together. And I've had some interactions with the company and they're really great people overall. They're people who care about learning and making kids' lives better.